as we're focusing on this morning and the geology society of kenya has now dismissed allegations that the country could be split into two following the emergence of fault lines in my mahu naivasha the organization has pointed to the current situation in sections of my mahu road uh, narok road to volcanic activity which had been worsened by the ongoing rains the geologists through their top leaders stammed as far-fetched the assertion that the continent was drifting apart due to the current underground activities Yo <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the other thing is we have geological maps. It's clear there's a buried fault line here. So whoever designed the road should have put this into consideration, not ignoring the work of geologists. We have similar cases also in Nakuru, not only here, of subsidence, but of smaller scale, because the volume of water involved is not as large. Although whatever our colleagues or you know the people who have been commenting about the global issues, movement of the plates and so on, there are theories and these are scientific, eh? yeah. they have been proven and they are working. But in this particular case we have to look at now what is on the ground and advise accordingly. It's just a, a drainage issue, it's not a big issue to do with tectonism. Okay, in as much as the rift might be spreading but not at, at this rate, it's just because of erosion. So we should look at the designs of the road and consider the drainage, put drainage into consideration maybe come up with an up bridge for this area so that we don't have these incidences happening again and again. So what we are saying is, as the Geological Society of Kenya, let the engineers work with us and we'll give them solutions.